In the world of Bluetooth speakers, the Fugu Tough and Fugu Tough XL have proven themselves to be more than capable of dealing with punishment. In my previous videos, I've driven over them with a Land Rover, driven them through a river, thrown them off a moving car, shot them with paintballs, and dropped them multiple times. Despite the odd scratch or dent, the speakers still work flawlessly. However, today, today I think I found a way to put these rugged speakers through the ultimate durability test. Today, I'm at Coverton Combat Collection in North Devon with this, a Russian T-54 tank. Coverton is home to a massive collection of military vehicles and exhibits ranging from the Boer War to the First Gulf War. I got in touch and they kindly agreed to loan us the tank for the day. For more information on the Coverton collection, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Having seen service all over the world, the T-54 has become the most produced tank in military history, with nearly 100,000 being made worldwide. Weighing in at 36 tonnes, this should once and for all prove just how crush-proof these speakers really are. Will they survive? To be honest, I'm not so sure about this one, but really there's only one way to find out. Bring on the tank. So the plan's pretty simple. I'm gonna start off with the Fugu Tough, the smaller of the two speakers, put it on the ground, play some music, and then run it over with 36 tons of tank. I mean, what could go wrong? Let's give it a go. Right then. Having run over both the speakers, the XL is a bit stuck. Um, I can't really get it out with my hands. I can see that it's a bit broken, but whether or not it still works is a different matter. But I've got a spade, and hopefully I can sort of dig around it a bit. Oh, more dents. I'm starting to think running this over with a tank wasn't such a good idea. Well, the top plate has come off it. Crushed. Does it play? No. Well, the little one still plays. I'll get the mud off this and have a bit of a look later, see if we can get it working again. So, 
I've got as much mud off as I can. Time for a moment of truth. <laughs> is it gonna work? I mean, looking at this, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's not working, but the actual core of the speaker itself looks in pretty good condition. So, moment of truth, play button. Nothing, nothing. Let me just press play on my phone. Oh, it does think it's paused itself. <laughs> what on earth? Look at that, look at the state this is in. How is that still working? I, I don't know what to say. Wow. <laughs> so I've taken out all the little bolts that hold the case together uh, and I'm hoping that pulling it apart I can get all the mud out and see how damaged the actual speaker inside is. So, pretty well bent in together, but you can see the big dent on the front of that. So uh, turns out 36 tons of tank does do quite a lot of damage to a speaker. But the actual inside of it, I'm amazed to say, apart from, oh, it's trying to pair. It's still alive. Actually, this is fine. This looks just like it did this morning. I don't know what to say. I'm genuinely amazed, despite all odds, both the speakers are still working, sure. They're a bit beaten up and, well, they've definitely seen better days, but what can you expect? It's a tank. Given that both these speakers are still working, I think it's fair to say that these are the toughest speakers in the world. Well, I don't know what's left to do, but come up with a tougher test.